Hello. All right. I'm going to show you how to download Vortex, link it to Nexus Mods, and start modding Skyrim. First thing you need to do is click the link down in the description. It will take you to this page here and create an account on Nexus Mods. So you need to have Skyrim properly installed and launched at least one time. So when you install Vortex, it can find the game. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go down to download. Just the top one. Don't worry about the bottom one. And it'll ask you if you have .NET 6.0 plus installed. Um, you should have that already installed on your computer. Um, if not, just click the link. It's a Microsoft program, so you don't have to worry about any weird issues. Uh, just download that and install that real quick. And it will ask you um slow download or fast download that's just if you um actually bought a premium membership to nexus mods if not slow download it just caps your speed at 1.5 megabytes um it takes about two minutes to download so once that runs through open the executable run through the installation and that's it, Vortex is installed. Okay, so once you run through the installation of Vortex, go ahead and launch Vortex. And yours is gonna look different than mine. You won't have all this stuff over here yet. You'll probably have games, extensions, knowledge base, settings. Um, but click on games and uh, there'll be a little button to scan for games. That's why you make sure you have launched Skyrim before. Vortex will find it for you, usually. If not, you can search for the game. And then uh, it'll pop up like this. For me here, it says activate because I'm already managing these games. But for you, it'll say manage. Click on Manage. And once you click on Manage, then you can go over here and click on Dashboard. And it'll take you to my Skyrim Special Edition Dashboard. And here, where you can launch the game, and you can also set up your extra modding tool, which I will show you here in a moment, because you're going to want Skyrim Script Extender. Now, if you get an issue where it says mods cannot be deployed, big red bar across here, um, there'll be a little button that says fix, select it, um, click apply fix and it will take you to the settings page under mods and mod staging folder so you click suggest it should if it found your game from the scan earlier on it should find the drive it should know the drive that your game is installed on so then it will uh, create a little file here on the same drive that the game is stored on. And then after you hit suggest, then hit apply. And that should fix that issue. Okay, let's get into installing Skyrim Script Extender, which is what you're going to want for sure. It handles so many different mods and it's, yeah, it's just 
incredible. So you can see I have it here. Um, again, links is down in the uh, description here at skse.silverlock.org. And now you're going to want to download the correct one for your game version. The anniversary edition build, anniversary edition build, special edition build, VR. So you want to make sure you have the one for your correct game version. So you want to go to your to where your game is installed down here to the executable. I can view it from right here actually if I just let it pop up file version 1.6.640 but if you can't see that Click on properties, go to details, product version, 1.6.640. So I would download that. I'm not going to, I already have it downloaded and installed. Okay, now once you've downloaded SKSE64, um, you're going to open the 7-zip file, and then just take all these here, drag, and drop them into the same folder that your Skyrim is in. Here I have SKS 64, SKS, I already have them in here, so I'm not going to do that. But that's all you have to do. Drag, drop. Same folder that has your executable in it. Okay, so now once we run through all that, drag and drop into our file. We'll go here, um, back to Vortex, and should auto-detect SKSE. If it doesn't, we'll go here to Tools. See, yeah, I already have it here, so yours will be a lot. will probably be blank. Just go down here and add tool. Okay, then we're going to name it SKSE, and then target. Click on the little folder here, and go to your game folder. Same place where you just put your, where you just transferred SKSE into. And click on the SKSE64 loader.exe, the executable. Then open. And then save. Okay, from now on, you are going to want to launch your game from Vortex and through the script extender. All right, now to verify that SKSE was installed properly, I'm going to go to our Skyrim game and Click the tilde key 
the little key just below escape and type in git skse version you can see there it says skse 64 version 2.2.3 so I know SKSE was installed properly. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, you need help installing the Four's new idols, uh, otherwise known as Finis, or Body Slide, or Nemesis or loot or quick auto clean um leave a comment let me know i'll try and get a video up on those as well um one more thing to remember um game updates and creation club updates will break skse so wherever you have your game Wherever you bought your game from, say Steam or GOG, whatever, um, you need to go there and only allow it to update when you tell it to update. No automatic up updates. Otherwise, SKSE will break, all your mods will break, and you'll be in a whole mess. So... I have it set up in Steam to only update when I launch the game. And since I launched the game from here using SKSE, I don't, it doesn't update automatically through Steam. So just remember that if it stops working at some point, it's probably because you forgot to do that. So disable auto updates and anyway, um, I hope that helped and now go download some mods from Nexus. Just remember when downloading mods, read the description in its entirety and follow the installation instructions to the T. Follow them very very precisely otherwise things aren't going to work properly and you'll just run into more and more problems but yeah modding's fun um i hope that helped again uh leave a like maybe a subscribe and a comment if you want to uh see some more videos kind of like this all right thanks see you later